Hi, I'm Dr. Daru, and in this video we're going to be looking at the scientific method, or at least the first steps in using the scientific method. I'm going to be talking about making observations and asking questions, and formulating hypotheses and predictions. We're also going to very briefly look at identifying different variables, the independent and dependent variables, and also look at what is the aim in a scientific investigation. So in this picture over here, you can see I have a kettle and I see the kettle, I think of electricity and I also think of making lots of cups of tea. So as a scientist, you start by observing the world around you and you just look at things and take note of things. So after you've observed, you might start to ask a few questions about what you're observing. I might ask how often I boil a kettle. Does this use lots of electricity? How much does this cost me? And from here, I might ask, well, what kind of impact does this have on the environment? And I might even ask whether there's a way that I can have lots of tea, because I like tea, and at the same time lessen my impact on the environment. So once you've got a question that you're wanting to investigate, you need to come up with an answer to that question. And the answer to your question is going to be based on your knowledge of how the world works. You might have to do a bit of background reading around that, but generally you answer your question. And that answer to your question is a statement, and that is your hypothesis. So I came up with this one. Filling the kettle with just the required amount of water uses less electricity. So what's really important to notice is that a hypothesis is a statement about cause and effect. In this case, the cause is the amount of water being boiled, and the effect is the amount of electricity that's being used to boil this water. You can't have a hypothesis, or it won't be a hypothesis, unless it's a statement, including these two aspects, cause and effect. So where this all comes together is when you actually start to test your hypothesis. And to test your hypothesis, you need to make a prediction. Now, you need to turn your hypothesis into a prediction by including the words if, then, because. If is the cause, then is the effect. And your because is your reasoning behind that. Again, you might have done some background reading and you've increased your knowledge, or you just know these things, or you think you do. So, how do we turn our hypothesis into a prediction? If less water is boiled in the kettle, then less electricity is used. Because less energy is required to boil a smaller volume of water, perhaps? We don't know for sure. Remember, the whole aim of science is to test this by experimentation. So just to touch on quickly some of the science terminology that you need to know, and that is the independent variable and the dependent variable. You can identify these variables by looking at your hypothesis or your prediction. Remember the cause and the effect? The cause is what we call the independent variable. This is something that we change when we're doing investigations or experiments. And the effect, the thing that we're measuring, is the dependent variable. Something else that people get confused with is what the aim of an investigation is. Now, the aim is something you write about when you are communicating your results of a scientific investigation. So we're jumping past all the testing of the actual hypothesis, all the results gathering and drawing conclusions, and looking at what your aim was. Your aim is, why did you do all of this? And you need to be specific. You can't just say to be a scientist. You need to say, to make lots of tea with less electricity, perhaps. So just to recap what I've covered in this video, firstly observe and ask questions about the world around you. Then you answer one question by formulating a hypothesis. It's a statement and it's what you think the answer to the question will be. You then test your hypothesis by predicting what will happen in a particular situation. 
After doing the experiment, you need to communicate your findings, and it's at this point where you declare what your actual aim was for the entire science investigation. You need to be specific.